Hi everyone, I'm Jonal Page and I'm working today on this black Bristol paper. This is one uh, of my journals that I just took some uh, papers from all kinds of paper pads and made them into, uh, bound them into this journal. I have here some uh, that are canvas, some uh, watercolor papers and I have this uh, black I want to start uh, making a background and I, I picked some stencils that would look uh, nice together. This one was the first uh, kind of an industrial look to it and I thought that this will work with it because of the circles here and I've got also some numbers so I've picked this and I just want to play with them. I've got several uh, colors here, I've got some uh, je white gesso just because it's more o opaque and chalky than acrylic paint but you can use acrylic paint. I've got some silver which I don't know how much of it will show, it's not really opaque and I've got some, um, I've got bead blue and ice blue uh, by Art Deco. The stencils I bought from AliExpress, They're, they don't have a brand or anything and I'm just going to start with something. So I've got a makeup sponge and I'm starting with the white gesso. I'm taking a little bit of the white gesso and dabbing the excess and I'm going to start stenciling. I want to layer all these stencils until I have an interesting background. This gesso is a little bit runny not quite heavy so I'm it's not going to look quite white on top of the black paper but that's fine with me I'm just going to lay this in several random places on my uh, spread and we'll see where it got, gets me if I want it to be completely white I will have to do two or three layers so it would be white. Right now I'm not interested in it, I'm just whatever takes takes. Yeah, so just moving along to another place on my page and again stenciling the same thing. I don't want to create a symmetric pattern so I'm going to randomly place it on my page of course if you are more a uh, if you like more uh, symmetrical designs then by all means you can place whatever stencil that you choose in a symmetrical pattern it doesn't have to be this for this uh, kind of Arjuna page, it doesn't have to be the same stencil as I have. The major point is to use a, what you have and just pick something that th you think gets goes together. Like three stencils, if it's flowers and leaves and butterflies or if it's all letters and numbers whatever you like just play with it and create an interesting background so I'm going to continue doing this and it's going to take time and it's quite boring <laughs> looking <laughs> at the same thing over and over again so I'll be back when I'm finished with this stencil and I will continue to the next okay finished with the one stencil uh, continuing to this one I'm going to stencil this on the inside and well let's try the silver we'll see what happens and I'm not trying to be precise, it really doesn't matter, it's part of the background. I'm not looking for perfect. Oh, I like it. 
looks nice it doesn't look silvery by any means not even if I tilt it but never mind I will just work with what I have and I'm thinking maybe I'll just change what I have inside each circle what do I want let's do this I don't know so I'm just continuing with the silver and putting something inside each of the circles and whatever goes goes good enough let's see I, I, the only thing is that I don't want a this large uh, number on each uh, circle I, if it's only part of it it's okay I'm just don't, not looking for it to be too prominent inside the circle so that's the only thing that this influencing my decision where to put the stencil I'm already <laughs> already liking this page and it's only the start maybe if I will stencil two or three layers of the silver it would be more prominent but I'll just leave it as is it's good enough for me I'm changing to this stencil and I want to go with this stencil in between the circles so I don't know let's start somewhere like this and now I'm just going to use the two uh, light blue I have here I'm going to alternate between them so it won't look flat I like having variation in the color maybe I will even dip into the white gesso just and the silver just so the color will be more varied yay okay so I like it so I'm just going to continue stenciling in between and it really doesn't matter if uh, there is a little bit of overlapping again this is just part of a background so I'm switching in between the paints I've got And basically that's what's going to happen here so I'm just going to continue stenciling and I'll be back okay so background is finished and I want something in contrast to this uh, industrial <laughs> I don't know what to call it background I want to place butterflies and maybe birds uh, all over this page and I in also in the name of contrast I went with all kinds of painting papers that will really be prominent on this page and I will put a link below in the description box to the video of uh, how I made this uh, painting papers these are the easiest ever painting papers you will uh, do just scraping uh, paint on papers and if you want adding details with other stuff so I will put a link to it and what I want to do is uh, start cutting butterflies now you can use a stencil you can yeah, there are a uh, printable free printable patterns of butterflies all over the internet I just have these butterflies that I bought a long time ago in IKEA and I'm always using them as a template 
so and I don't even have to trace all of it I can just uh, let's take another one so it would be easier I can just fold it in half and trace one part of the butterfly and of course then I will cut it so what I want to do is trace a lot of butterflies in uh, several sizes I'm not going to do the antennas it's just too uh, too much and now I've got one butterfly I will do more I'm taking nail scissors it's easier they are more dainty and it's easier to cut curves with them I'm using the curve of the scissors to my advantage Okay, one butterfly. Here we go. So I've got this one. I want to do other colors. Uh, it, the butterflies are going to be very colorful on the page. And I think I will use this size also. This is big enough. I'm not going to uh, do a larger a uh, butterfly and maybe I will add some details to the butterfly and not leave it as is we'll see I'm going to cut more butterflies and then I'll come back okay so I've got a bunch of butterflies some of them I traced from uh, I showed you with the uh, butterflies from Ikea and some I've punched, I have two punches. This one, this is a three inch punch. And I've got another one here. I'm not sure that I will use this small, the small ones, but I've also punched some butterflies. Not sure still about the placement. First, I want to add details to the butterflies. So I want each butterfly to have some details on top of it and I'm going to do it by stamping you can stencil on top of it you can just doodle you can do whatever you want so I've got one butterfly here and I've picked two stamps this ones and I'm going to use archival ink and just stamp again it's going to be randomly I'm not looking for symmetry or anything and wherever it goes it goes so I've got this and now I'm just going to stamp on top of it like so I'm leaving it for a few seconds so it will take eh, not that good but it's good enough for me and I can use the smaller one if I want to to go like this yeah that's better so now I want to just go around each butterfly and add a little bit of ink so I'm taking a makeup sponge and going around like this in places like this that you can't go in either fold it and do this kind of a uh, Thing. another option is to use a q-tip or um, if you want a more precise line all around your butterfly you can use a black permanent marker also an option like so folding it so I can get in And of course you can have as 
many detail as you want or as less as you want and I could have also done more details on the painting paper and on, and after the detail then cut my butterflies or punch the butterflies it's whatever is easier for you so here is another one now I have to to do the all others and I'll be back when they are finished <laughs> Okay, so this is it. I've finished <laughs> adding the details and going uh, around each butterfly with ink and placed them, just uh, glued them with a glue stick because they were done on a plain printer paper. They didn't need anything else. And I was uh, kind of considering doing some splattering with the colors, uh, the vibrant colors I've got here. I haven't glued this one. <laughs> Missed one. Here we go, just a glue stick and let's put it here. So, but then I decided that I really like this page as is. I'm leaving it and that's it. Of course, if you want, you can do antennas and you can do the body of the butterfly whatever you like I really uh, happy with the result here uh, about the contrast in many ways in in the colors in the theme and so this is it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now